Gems. Welcome to our little tale of woe, triumph against impossible odds, terror, and managerly responsibility. Our story begins in the calm waters above the town of Bikini Bottom. As we descend beneath the waves, we find another day. Wait a minute! Hold your seahorses! I can't believe this is happening here! It's horrible! Whew. Thank Neptune, my manager is here! Talk to me, Krabs. It started out as a simple order. A Krabby Patty with cheese. So what went wrong? When the customer took a bite. No cheese! Oh, this has never happened before! Get a hold of yourself, Eugene. I'm going in. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. He's just ooh, macho. Just earned, go to the extra section on the options menu. This is a job for a
I'm the manager of this establishment. Everything is gonna be just fine. I'm really scared, man. You got a name? Phil. <laughs> Come on, Phil, stay with me. I've only got one shot at this. Gotta have the right tools for the job. Bingo. Now I want you to do me a favor, Phil. What? Say cheese. Ah, uh, the beginning. A little yellow friend awakes from his slumber and prepares for the biggest day of his life. Yet despite his dreams, he is not honored with the manager position of the new Krusty Krab 2. So he sulks off to drown his depression in ice cream at the local Goofy Goobels. Across the street, jealous of Mr. Krab's success, the diabolical plankton hatches Plan Z. He steals King Neptune's crown and frames Mr. Krabs for selling it to the far off and dangerous land of Shell City. Let us now join our heroes in the midst of their self-pity. Hey, hey buddy, come on, wake up. Huh? Where am I? It's eight in the morning, closed. Go collect your friend and get out of here. Hey buddy, come on up here and join the party. SpongeBob!
if you bring me more Goofy Goober tokens, I can grant you the cartwheel move. Oh boy, I love whatever that move is. You will. Just bring me more Goofy Goober tokens.
Okay, Patrick, since you've brought me enough Goofy Goober tokens, you may now use the cartwheel move. Time to spin? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! You'd better get going, Patrick. There's lots to do. There you are, Patrick. I've been trying to find you all evening. Uh, it's 8 in the morning, SpongeBob. Oh my gosh, 8 o'clock. I am late for work. Mr. Krabs is gonna kill me. Oh, Mr. Krabs. Back at the Krusty Krab, King Neptune confronts Mr. Krabs about his alleged thievery. He asks if there is anyone present who may vouch for Mr. Krabs' character. And our yellow knucklehead McSpazitron shows up to accuse Mr. Krabs of being a horrible person. King Neptune zaps Mr. Krabs, causing SpongeBob to sober up quickly. He selflessly volunteers to journey to Shell City and retrieve the King's crown. Freezing Mr. Krabs in place, King Neptune grants a six-day reprieve, so SpongeBob and Patrick may attempt to retrieve the crown. King Neptune's daughter, Mindy, provides SpongeBob and Patrick with a magic mirror, through which she can communicate and assist our heroic duo. We continue as SpongeBob and Patrick arrive at the paddy wagon. SpongeBob, Patrick, it's time to start your journey. Drive the paddy wagon through the blue bottom and the town. This road will take you through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. 
Don't let the paddy wagon take too much damage, or you'll have to start again. Our journey begins. Epic, heroic, daring, valiant, courageous! SpongeBob, you're driving a sandwich. Not just a sandwich, a Krabby Patty. Cheese! of town and now you can go on to the next part of your journey. Here's your reward. Come back again if you want another driving challenge. With the chaos of Bikini Bottom behind us, SpongeBob and Patrick begin their long journey towards Shell City. However, with SpongeBob gone, all is not well. Plankton is now selling the Krabby Patty at the Chum Bucket, and with every purchase, customers are getting a mind-controlling bucket helmet. Squidward has discovered Plankton's plan to create an army of bucket heads. Will Squidward save the day? No. On the outskirts of town, SpongeBob and Patrick meet some of the charming locals, who tell them they will not last long outside the city. But our friends do not listen. They should have listened. 
our heroes are now stranded in a vast desert with only their feet for transportation. the desert next to this one. Oh, well in that case I'll have those towers shut down in a jiffy. 